Well, call it Hill and Ted's excellent adventure, I guess. Hillary Clinton in Tinseltown today going after some big time Hollywood cash uh, to GOP fundraiser extraordinaire Mika Mossbacher, who is not worried because Ted Cruz is where she is putting her money. Very good to have you, Mika. Why Ted Cruz? Well, I've known Ted and Heidi Cruz for years. And in looking at the last two presidential election cycles, they fit the definition of Einstein's insanity. We're doing the same thing over and over, and it's not working. We failed to reach out to the Hispanic voters. We failed to reach out to everyday working Americans. So to me, it's time for a fresh face. I know you had Jack Welch on your show. I agree with him. We need new blood. He loves Cruz. Loves him. Uh, well, Ted went to Washington. He wasn't co-opted by Washington. He stood up for what he believed in. He's principled. He didn't duck. He stood up. And I admire that kind of courage of conviction. It's rare in a politician. Jack Welch did say, and he loves him to death, he should smile more. If he's going to sell himself as Reagan, uh, he should smile more. What would you make of that? <laughs> well, he, Ted Cruz is very intense. <laughs> he's principled. And uh, I think Heidi Cruz, his wife, would be the first person to tell him to lighten up a bit. And I don't want to forget the Heidi I think factor. she's the one who should be running. Actually. Heidi is smart as a I, whip. I, I kid, they're both very smart. But let me ask you something, because, you know, your late husband, Robert Mossbacher, was a Commerce Secretary for a Bush. So, a Bush senior. And I'm wondering that, uh, what he would think of what you're saying today. Well, interestingly enough, Bob liked Ted Cruz. He obviously has a lot of history with the Bushes, so I think under these circumstances, Jeb would be his number one choice and Ted Cruz the number two choice. And so on this issue, we'd probably have a divided household. You'd be but, fighting right now, in other words, right? <laughs> well, competition's healthy. But you, if, 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 if Cruz were not to get the nomination, and let's say Jeb Bush were, you, you, you would you'd yes. be okay with that? Yes, absolutely. Are there any of the Republican candidates you do not like? Uh, no, I have a great deal of respect for the field of contenders. There are a few candidates that I don't know well. Who's such nuts in your eyes? Who's nuts? Totally nuts, certifiable, should never even get within 100 miles of the White House. I think that would be a Democrat, not okay, a Republican. Okay, fine. I was just trying to catch you off guard. <laughs> All right. Do you think there are too many in the race? You know, we had Bobby Jindal here. He seems to be animating at a June announcement. Right. We could have a dozen or more. Actually, the rate we're going, maybe two dozen. <laughs> But that it's going to be a crowded field? Well, I said earlier, competition is healthy. And if we don't bruise each other up during the primary, you know, by running negative campaigns, et cetera, I think it will only strengthen our party. It is going to make fundraising tougher, at least early on. Can you reveal how much you've committed to Senator Cruz? I, you know, I'm like so many people, I'm bundling. I'm, oh, all right. <laughs> Well, you got I a lot have, of money to bundle. I, I've got a lot of money to bundle. Hey, he raised a million in one day. Oh, no, raised... he's, uh, he's raised a lot of money, but a lot of guys are raising a lot of money. I'm wondering whether it gets to be so many guys with so much money, we don't have a nominee by Cleveland. What do you think? Well, I'm the cockeyed optimist, so I hope we do. Right. Uh, but if we don't, hey, you know, as far as Cruz is concerned, I don't think he'll raise the most money, but I don't think he needs to do so to be successful. Well, he definitely brings out the passion. Mika, very good to have you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very, much. very much. Pleasure. All right, Amy.